All right, so I am recording the audio for this video on the uh, microphone I done in the last unbox unboxing video. But uh, this time, since I have another box, it, here I do this one too. It's uh, Hendri er, Hendrickles International Elf Sharpening Knife Block. block. Graphite Forge, a 20 piece set. Contains a bunch of knives here on the side. Got Got a three-inch paring knife, four-inch paring knife, bunch of a bunch of paring knives, a bone, a prep knife, boning knife, utility knife, a uh, seven-inch hollow edge Santoko knife, eight-inch carving knife, a eight-inch chef's knife, a five-inch serrated utility knife, a eight-inch bread knife, and an eight steak knives and a pair, a pair of kitchen shears. Although I get the feeling they really just mean scissors. I put that back on on the stand. I made out of made out of boxes. So got this here. All right. So now to open this up. Opens on the top, and this is quite heavy. So grab this. Open this up here. Oh, the thing I was using for my stand fell. So we've got a couple pan flicks, it looks like. Don't have a QR code, so I'm not gonna record that. But you gotta put the pan flit here. Just set this back down. So we've got a manual here on storage and sharpening. Only Hendrickles knives should be stored in stored in the Hendrickles self sharpening block. So as you pull the knives out, it should sharpen them for you, which would be very, which is very helpful in the kitchen, making sure your knives are actually sharp while cutting. And then also got a whole, so this whole pamphlet is on how to use and safeties and such. And then back here, it's saying something about a warranty. Cool. Let's see anything else in the box other than all this cardboard. Yep, that feels heavy. Gonna pull that out. Uh, I got got this uh, got got this on Finger Hut for about two hundred and ninety dollars. Uh, I'll try and put the link in the description if I can find the right one. So now, gotta take this all out. I'm assuming the box, I, other box I pulled out earlier, is gonna be all the knives. So if I get this out of here. All right, I have managed to undo the packaging around it. So it has a bunch of label labeled things for all of the where all the knives are supposed to go. And I'm assuming this wooden section at the bottom is where the steak knives would go. Do you get the stand cam undone? Let's put that back over there. So definitely looks quite nice with this metal metalish top part and then this wood nice wood around it the bottom however looks a little bit cheaper on the bottom if i tip it over so yeah rest of it looks nice the bottom looks kind of cheap but if i pull this back over it definitely has a definitely has a nice look to it and should be sharpening the knives that I pull out. All right, now that I've moved most of, the, most of the things out of my way, I'm gonna grab this pair of scissors and open up what I believe is the box containing the knives. Bam. The gra or these graphite forged knives, at least is what it says on the box. And there's slots, slots labeled for everything on the, on the actual block. So if I can get this open. A lot of tape on this, which makes sense. All right, I have managed to undo the tape. So now I can open this up to the knives inside. Bunch of knives. And it looks like I did get a pair of scissors with them. Oh dear. 
a good to know. One, one end of the knives are, are open, but they are covered in cardboard, so if you do, do purchase one, be a bit careful about that. But they, the knives, the scissors here do look pretty nice. And they have their own slot on the block over here. Just now they slot in these knives. Them. Assuming this is a steak knife. I guess that's a steak knife since this looks like a lot of the same knife over and over. So... Yep, looks like it's just a bunch of the same knife over and over. So now we're on to the next layer of knives, of all these special knives. Gotta move all the trash out of the way. There's a lot of packaging in this. Oh, this one appears to be mostly taken out already. This, I believe, is the boning knife. Not quite sure which way it goes in. Goes in. Uh, they're all stored like, yeah, I already put them in correctly, okay. Judging by the image on the packaging. So, got another knife here. I'm gonna guess this is probably the 5.5 inch, or if I measure it, yeah. It's probably the 5.5 inch uh, prep knife. If I can see which slot that is. I think this is the prep knife slot. All right, on to the next one. So we got this one here. So I'm gonna guess this is probably, this is probably the eight inch carving knife. I'm probably getting a lot of these wrong. <laughs> oh, this one should be easier to guess, it's a lot wider. This is the seven inch hollow edge uh, Sen Senkoa Toko knife. I butchered that. And that's what it uses as to tell what it is. Oh, got a smaller knife this time. This I think is either the three or four inch pairing knife. I'm not feeling quite secure in that one. Another knife here. Yep, this is definitely the four inch pairing knife while this is the three inch, I guess. But I'm going to guess that these knives actually belong the other way around. There we go. All right, on to another long one. Uh, yeah, this is the eight inch bread knife. So if I find which slot that is, that would be this one. Okay. So these are all the knives I've gotten, so, gotten out so far. They all have their own, own labeled slots on here for sharpening. So let's see, on to the next knife. Another knife here. I'm assuming this is probably the six inch utility knife. Oh, we got a, got a small knife now. Ah, this is the five inch serrated utility knife. which has its own, own thing over here that has has an abbreviation for serrated. That makes that easier to find where it goes. Then we have the final knife, 
which I believe is the eight inch chef's knife. And this goes in a slot here. So they all go in, they all go in like this. And when you pull them out, you can hear the sound of them sharpening. So hopefully that's longer cutting well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, that'll be all.